I'm Scott Allen Miller, and this is my life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today we are out in Sutiava, and we're heading out to get some chicken. We're just doing a food episode. We've been talking about doing this for a while and have not had a chance to get started on it. So I'm a vegetarian, so I can't go out and get a lot of the street food uh, or a lot of the common food that is eaten here to show you guys. So Marcella and the kids are here. Hola todos. And we are going out to get some chicken here in Sutiava, so you can see pricing and availability and like what is common food here near the market. We're right by uh, the Iglesia, the church, and by the Marketito in Sutiava. So we're gonna head over there, take you guys along. Let's go check out the chicken scene here in Sutiava. We are here in Leon, Nicaragua today, and we are starting a series where I'm gonna to try to do a lot more of showing you guys food, nightlife, activities of everyday life here in Nicaragua. There's a lot of things that we don't normally show because we're vegetarians or they're just parts of life that are difficult to film. And I have a little bit more time and organization now. We're gonna to try to put some of this together so you can get a better idea of what life is like for Nicaraguans. That's on one cultural side. We wanna kind of share this with everyone. And then the other side, give you an idea of what your life could be like if you're either one, a traveler, and you wanna integrate and get a good feel for things, or you're a potential expat and you're wondering what life could be like for you. So we're gonna be looking into prices, availability of restaurants, the type of food you're gonna find, all that kind of stuff, including some bars and stuff, and that's in the future. Today, we're going to the restaurant of Pio Pio, which is a uh, slang for little chicken, little chicken. So it's a chicken restaurant. They predominantly do fried chicken, but they specialize or advertise that they do grilled chicken. So you can see the grill outside. We're gonna show that, but uh, for the most part, they have fried chicken ready all day long. Fried chicken is the thing that you get near the markets. And this is essentially like half a block from Marcadito, the small market in Sutiava on the west side of Leo. And you can see it there on the street. So this is incredible. Incredibly typical. Uh, there are a large number of chains plus lots of local one-off fried chicken restaurants of this nature. You're gonna find these absolutely everywhere in the country. It doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, you can find these. So this is just absolutely stereotypical of a uh, Nicaraguan meal. So we went in there, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna show the food up close, we're gonna talk about the pricing when we get uh, back. Right now, we're just showing the area. This is looking towards Marcadito. You can actually see it there uh, about, you know, just at the end of the, the block there. This is where it sprawls out into the street. This is the market that's being replaced by the new Sutiava market being built that I've shown a couple of videos of the construction location and its progress. That's because this one is taking over the street. Traffic is a nightmare because of this. So this one is going to be replaced hopefully within the next six to nine months. Construction is supposed to be done soon, but obviously it's gonna take a while to move all of this and get the new businesses set up at the new location. This street that we're on here is one of the old colonial cobblestones and it's going to the main square or plaza of Sutiava, which is like the secondary city of Leon. Like it's a binary city, it's the smaller of the two and that is the Iglesia or Church of Sutiava, right there that you can see. It has this beautiful, large, old uh, Spanish colonial plaza, just a big open area. And someone in recently had said, there's nowhere that you can go outside and just run around, you know where you can exercise, nowhere where you can be outside in Leon and I, it, We've shown a number of these different places. This just happens to be right in the dead center of Sutiava. So if you're living on this side of the city, like I do, we just wanted to show that you can definitely grab your dog, go out and run over a very large area. If you wanted to go jogging and do circles, you want just a place where you can, you know, toss a ball around or whatever. This is a big space where people really do come out and get some fresh air and exercise. They walk their dogs, they go jogging. All those things really do happen here. So we just wanted to show that since we were in the area and we got that claim that no such area existed in the city. Obviously they do, we keep showing them. Before we headed back to show you guys these actual food, we're gonna stop by one other place on the way, and that is the Super Express. Now, Super Express is one of the major chains, along with like Pronto and AMPM and the Super 7 of mini markets here in Nicaragua. Now, unlike many countries where mini marts are just kind of a little 
addition to a neighborhood and, and you don't really think of it much in terms of regular life. Here in Nicaragua, these are very central to everyday living. A lot of things happen here. One is that little communities have a tendency to get a lot of their groceries here. We've got the pulperias we've talked about. We're going to show more of those as we do this series. But when you go beyond a pulperia, you tend to go to these mini markets. They are mini supers, as they're sometimes called. They have quite a bit of stuff, snacks, enough food to cook with, necessary ingredients, drinks, ice cream, alcohol, quite a range. So they are used very heavily as that kind of step up from the uh, pulperias to kind of make the pulperias able to function with their very limited supplies of things. They also function as the banking and payment infrastructure for many communities. Sometimes pulperias do this too, but these uh, mini supers tend to have a connection with a large number of banks and you can go in and make payments on your bills. You can go in and uh, send money to friends or family or, or make payments with businesses. Uh, I've definitely had like one-offs where I was buying a product from a business that was going to ship something to me and I stopped by the mini super and they just send me information on how to make a payment. You just go into the mini super, walk up to the ca the cashier, and say, I need to pay this, you know, I need to make a deposit in this account. And it's an immediate deposit directly into their account. It is one of the simplest ways to do money transfers. You don't need a card. You don't need any special stuff. It is instant. There's no fee for it. Super easy. Now, one of the reasons that the supermarkets are really nice is that you can, um, and you can see it there, they have digital uh, monitors on the cash registers. So if you're an expat or you're a traveler and you're just not sure, money, money's a hard thing to say. If you're not fluent in Spanish, them telling you how much you owe for something can be very confusing. I like the mini supers, even in English, I hate dealing with money being spoken. All right, what we have here is fried chicken. This is a full fried chicken dinner like you would get at, say, a Kentucky Fried Chicken. For example, with French fries and a two liter bottle of Coke, uh, and all of this with the sides, which we're going to show everything, came to 480 cord. So in dollars, that would be $13 US. So not too bad for this is a full meal for three people from a restaurant the restaurant we went to is pio pio in sutiaba it's right on ruben dario and it is a number of things they do fried chicken and they do grilled chicken so you have um, a little bit different styles plus they do stuffed yuca uh, and a few other things not a big selection, but um, kind of street food, kind of uh, traditional Nicaraguan fast food. So we have a little bit of a selection here, but this is uh, exactly what you're going to find near the markets in nearly every uh, city and town in Nicaragua. It is very standard. So this is this is coleslaw, by the way. It is very standard for uh, markets in Nicaragua to be surrounded by fried chicken places. That is the standard food in the market areas. Como esta la comida? <laughs> and as I was saying, in the super minis, uh, because they have the screens, you can just see how much you owe. It makes things just really easy. Plus, you can pay with credit cards, which in the pulperias you cannot. So if you are a traveler or an expat, often these do make life just a little bit easier. Although they rarely have ATMs, you're normally going to find those at banks. All right, so Pio Pio is a good example of what you can find all over Nicaragua. This is very traditional food, and the pricing is very standard. So 13 obviously a little bit higher than if you're cooking at home, and if you're doing street asado, this is a restaurant asado, so street asado is generally going to be a little bit cheaper, but you can see the menus. We grabbed pictures of that so you could see uh, what they offer. Now, we didn't go at a main meal time. We wanted to go when it was slow and when there was light. So there would be other times of day when they had more things already ready. But you can see what they have and what it's like and get an idea from that, what you can expect. You'll find this basically everywhere. You'll struggle a little bit to find the same prices in like San Juan del Sur or Granada. But um, in most of the country, you'll find these um, everywhere, right? It's the most standard type of fast food is fried chicken. So in the same way that you're gonna find hamburger places or even pizza places, all over the United States, wherever you go, you're gonna find fried chicken here in Nicaragua. And the main chain of the country, Tip Top, which we haven't shown yet, we're gonna show on an episode sometime coming up so you can see what they have there and what it's like 
is fried chicken. So it takes that place in the food ecosystem of the country. Sorry, the camera died while we were doing that episode and I had to wait quite a while uh, because I've been traveling in Argentina to wrap things up. So I'm actually here in Argentina in Buenos Aires doing the end of the video. So fried chicken is super important anywhere in Nicaragua and it is the reason uh, that Kentucky Fried Chicken doesn't exist in the country. It did at one point and it went out of business. There's very stiff competition when there is very low cost standard Nicaraguan style fried chicken available absolutely everywhere. There are very few foods that are more available in a restaurant setting than fried chicken. Grilled chicken, heavily available. Lots of things are very available, but fried chicken is the, it seems to be the most outside of the asados and the fritangas that exist that people operate out of their homes. People don't tend to do fried chicken out of the home, so it is the most common form of formal restaurant, but ev absolutely everywhere. Just in that one little stretch in Sutiava that we were showing, there are many. Uh, and if you go into the market, there will be more. Every market, they surround them. Any couple blocks in town, there will be a restaurant that specializes in fried chicken, so that's something you're always able to get. The prices stay very competitive. I'm told that the quality is quite good, if it's something that you like and most people who eat meat do, then it is going to be a very plausibly major part of your diet in Nicaragua. So something to plan for, look forward to. Uh, if you're coming to visit and you're interested in finding out what life in Nicaragua is like, then checking out some of these places will be important for you. And if you're looking at gauging what expat life in Nicaragua might be like and where you might want to consider eating and what prices are going to be like, so you can put together a budget or a plan or just think about what kind of food you're gonna look forward to or wanna work around because it's not something you like or maybe it doesn't meet your dietary requirements or your vegetarian like me, then I hope that this video has helped inform you a little bit about that. And I want to be doing a lot more of these. I want to show a bunch of videos where we go out, especially because I don't eat meat. Uh, we're going to take uh, Marcella. We're going to go out and go to restaurants and show you the different types of food that is available, but also what the culture is like around food and, and going out in Nicaragua. Because there's a lot of these places that I haven't shown on the videos previously because I'm a vegetarian. And so I'm not very likely to go out to certain types of restaurants or clubs where there really isn't much of anything for me to eat and hang out and film for you guys. But I think that they're really valuable because people, you see, you know, we love doing the barrio walks. You get to see what, like, housing is like or what the streets are like during the day in different places. But there's a lot of, like, nightlife and different aspects of Nicaraguan society that I don't tend to show because I'm not doing it because I don't eat meat. So I want to bring a lot of that to you. People definitely have questions about food and such. As always, if you have anything that you want to comment on or you have a question or specific things you want us to go research or show or whatever, get down there in those comments. Just scroll down. And if you're on a TV, yeah, pull out your phone you're gonna have to do it there i don't think you can do comments on a tv but if you're on a computer on a phone whatever you can leave comments right down there say hello if nothing else but ask your questions and if you look in the show notes there's information on how you can send in a video of yourself uh and then we can put you on the show and you can ask your questions or leave your comments that way which is super interactive and cool so consider doing that as always, hit that like button. It does make a difference. And if you look up here, we're gonna have a link on how you can support the show. We are trying to be as neutral and as great of a show as possible. So we've not done memberships. Google offered us a lot of money to do memberships. We just couldn't find a valuable way to do that without really just taking advantage of you guys. So we didn't turn that on, even though they offered to pay us to do it. And we aren't taking sponsorship of that. We will take sponsorship if we find a good sponsor, but we have no sponsorship at this time. We're not paid to pre present any of this stuff to you. Uh, we're trying to find some sponsors that actually make sense, but that's a that's a tough road. We're really not making any money on this. We lose quite a bit doing it. So if you'd like to help support the work that we're doing, check up here. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott L. Miller comes directly to me and helps pay for the cameras and all the stuff that we do here. Really appreciate everyone who sponsors the show. It makes a huge difference and it makes us feel good because it can be very stressful doing the show and it's, uh, it, it really shows us how much people appreciate it uh, when they take that extra effort. Really appreciate all of you guys. Looking forward to seeing all of you tomorrow.